Addition and subtraction are inverse operations, which means they undo each other. This makes it very easy to solve an equation using addition or subtraction. For example, if we have x plus 5 equals negative 2, we want to solve this equation for x. x is not by itself because 5 is being added to it, but subtraction is the inverse of addition. So we can get rid of this plus 5 if we simply subtract 5 from both sides. Subtracting 5 on the left and subtracting 5 on the right leaves just x on the left side, and on the right side, negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7, and that is our solution. We can plug this solution into the equation, putting negative 7 where we previously had x, and we see that it's true. Negative 7 plus 5 is indeed equal to negative 2, and that verifies that we got the correct answer. In this case, we solve the equation using subtraction in order to undo the addition. We can do a very similar thing in the next problem, 25 equals y minus 3. In this case, we're solving for y, and it doesn't matter that it's on the right side of the equation. The objective is still the same, get y by itself. In this case, 3 is being subtracted from y, and we can undo that using the inverse of subtraction, which is addition. So we simply add 3 to both sides to get rid of that subtraction of 3. On the right, of course, the minus 3 and plus 3 cancel out, and we're just left with y. On the left, 25 plus 3 is 28, and that is our solution, y equals 28. We can plug this solution back into the equation to verify that it works. Where we did have y, let's put 28. And we see this equation is true. 25 is indeed equal to 28 minus 3, and so our solution is correct. Here are four more equations you can try solving using addition or subtraction. In each case, perform an addition or subtraction to get the variable by itself. I'll put the solutions on screen now. And there they are. In this problem, we subtract 3 from both sides, which gives us x equals 3. In this problem, we subtract 8 from both sides, giving t equals negative 10. In this problem, we add 5 to both sides to get u equals 6. And in this problem, we add 7 to both sides to get b equals negative 13. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my pre-algebra course and pre-algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.